Hello everybody, welcome back. We all know that once an implant is ready to be loaded and once the impressions are made, we receive the prosthesis from the lab and it is extremely important to follow certain steps to ensure that the prosthesis fits and functions efficiently. So join me now as I am about to deliver the prosthesis for one of my patients. This is the case of a lower molar implant where the impressions were done and I now have the prosthesis delivered to me from Illusion Dental Lab. I have ordered a smart abutment for this case which is a CAT CAM customized abutment with the highest levels of precision. The first step is obviously to remove the healing abutment from the implant. The lab has also sent me this transfer jig so that it is easier for me to try in the abutment onto the implant. I have placed the transfer jig onto the abutment on the model. I am now opening the abutment screw so that I can pick up the smart abutment and carry it to the patient's mouth. Once I have placed it, I will tighten the screw again and take off the jig. I can take an IOP at this stage to evaluate complete seating of the abutment. So the abutment has now been transferred to the patient's mouth accurately. I will now go ahead and try on the crown. This here is a cement retained PFM. I also have an access hole in the crown so in case I need to get the abutment out in the future, I can do it without having to cut through the crown. I will now go ahead and evaluate the fit of my crown. It's very important that the prosthesis should fit passively onto the abutment. After verifying occlusion and contact, the crown is ready to be cemented. Before we go ahead and cement the crown, we need to torque the abutment in place. The torque value for a BioDenda Smart abutment is 35 Newton centimeters. So I have set my wrench to 35 and I will start torquing it now. So it's very important that the torque values be used depending upon the implant specification. The abutment is now torqued. I can now go ahead and try my crown once again before the final cementation. It is extremely important to block out the abutment screw channel before we cement the crown in place. Some people prefer to use cotton or gutta percha but I personally like using some teflon. This is how the teflon goes in and I can now block out the hole with some composite. I will now mix some cement and all we need is a little bit of cement coating the walls of the crown. Once the cement reaches the semi-solid stage, I can easily go ahead and remove all the excess. The final step is to block out the access hole on the crown with some composite. There it is, our crown has now been cemented onto the abutment. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off. See you next week.